Hi, everybody. Um, my name is Claudio. Um, I work at uh, the Scalable Builds Group at Tweak, uh, the OSPO of uh, Models Create. And today I uh, want to talk a bit about Bayesit's take on uh, shared libraries. Specifically, I um, want to talk about um, the CC shared library rule. Um, that rule has been, has been available since Basel 1.2 already, um, uh, but hidden under an uh, experimental flag, but has been declared stable uh, last year when uh, Basel 7 was released. This, this looks pretty innocent at uh, first glance because the documentation uh, just says um, it produces a shared library, and uh, surely that's what it does. But um, when, when we tried to upgrade Basil from uh, version 6 to Basil 7 last year, we uh, learned that um, there had been, obviously, had been some um, breaking changes uh, since our tests would fail. So after, after um, trying to fight the system, uh, we are trying to, to uh, work around the problems. We um, yeah, set out to, to look into um, th that rule, how that rule uh, works to understand what it does um, in order to um, fix our problem, uh, our build uh, properly. Um, so let's look at a concrete example. Um, this um, this code is uh, basically taken from the documentation, uh, but um, heavily simplified in order to fit on screen. Um, on the on the right hand side, you can see the the build graph, the dependency graph of of the targets. And as you can see, we've got um, two shared libraries, foo shared and bar shared, which are um, composed uh, of um, yeah three other um, normal. Uh, CC libraries. Um, so let's see what what happens when we try to build the top level foo share target. Um, at first, we need to build all all the we need to from from the source files. We need to build um, object files for the CC libraries. Um, this can happen in an arbitrary order, basically. Um, but uh, at the end of the day, we need to build a bar shared. And bar shared is just built from the objects of bar. As you can see, it's just a, a, a simple uh, dependency there. Um, but uh, finally, we, we need to build a foo shared. And foo shared is um, built from objects, objects from bar. And uh, it links to bar shared. And it's a build, uh, it also links uh, objects from Baz, but not. Um, and this is also stated in the documentation. Uh, it does not link um, objects from bar. Why is this? Um, well, it would be would be a, a, an error to do so because it's already uh, linked in by bar shared. So uh, since you have Kind of a diamond um, in the in the dependency here. Um, you wouldn't, you need to avoid uh, to link it twice, so you would need to avoid uh, duplicate symbols there. But how um, the interesting thing is how does it actually do that? How does the uh, the CC shared library rule actually know that it needs to rule out? Um, the the bar dependency, which is a transitive one from its steps um, edge uh, on the on the right branch, um, similar to the, uh, the to the bass uh, target, when when it is also a transitive dependency on the left branch of of the dynamic depths. Um, so first, let's let's t uh, take a step back and and look at. Um, at what what uh, what the information that we we see in the or th that we get from the from the static build graph uh, looks like, um, because um, there are some providers that are attached uh, to to the targets. Um, so providers, as you probably all all know, are it's just information that are generated by the rules and attached to the targets. So. In the case of um, CC library, uh, 
it provides uh, CC info, uh, whereas the CC shared library provides uh, CC sh shared library info. Um, keep that in mind, um, since that is a bit important when we look at the next as aspect. Aspects. Um, so what is an aspect? Um, an aspect basically is um, some, some guy that walks around your build tree and uh, applies uh, its magic source on, on, your, on your targets. Um, you can see that thing as, uh, as a function that is given a target and a bit of context and produces providers. So basically this enriches your build graph with additional information. And um, the CC shared library rule is employing uh, uh, an aspect, uh, surprisingly, to, to do its work. So let's have a look at, what, at, the, simple, uh, at the simple case, what happens when, um, when uh, this aspect gets applied to the bar shared uh, target. You need to uh, tell the aspect where it needs to, where it should start. And in the case of uh, CC shared library rules, um, this starts on all the targets in the depth edge that provide CC info. Um, in this case, this is just a bar, and so the, the aspect gets applied to bar, um, and that's kind of boring because nothing else happens here. So let's have a look at uh, the more interesting case of uh, Applying the uh, the aspect to um, uh, foo shared. Oh, one more note: um, the aspect. What it does is it creates some uh, di different provider, which is called a graph node info. So that's now attached to the to the bar target. So what happens when uh, this gets applied to the to the foo shared target? It's also starting out at the depth edge and is applied to all the targets that provide CC info. So that's uh, foo. But the question is, um, where should this aspect be? Uh, yeah, where should this aspect be get propagated to uh, in the build graph? And uh, also a bit surprisingly, the answer is it gets propagated to each and every. Um, edge of those targets. So basically, it also gets um, it also gets applied to um, bar and bass. So in this case, uh, a bar already has been applied, uh, was applied to, uh, to the to the aspect, and uh, bass um, also gets applied here. So these nodes also uh, gain the graph node info. Um, providers, and what this does is basically it builds uh, another graph since the, since the um, graph node info from Foo points back to the graph node info of the other dependent targets. And with that information, um, the CC shared library rule is able to evaluate um, and decide uh, which kind of uh, dependencies it needs to link in um, by um, looking at the at the left branch uh, on the merged uh, CC shared library info uh, plus the uh, graph node info from the right branch, and so it can rule out uh, anything that's that's already linked by dynamic depths, basically. Um, and this was this was exactly. The problem um, for us, because we had some custom rules that would also provide CC info, and like the all-seeing eye, which is depicted in the uh, left uh, corner here, um, the aspect was looking through all the dependencies of, of our build graph and uh, would mistakenly basically take into account um, our CC uh, info for, for linking, which it should not do. Um, so this is because um, it has the it uses the asterisk as uh, its uh, adder, um, uh, yeah it uses the asterisk to to uh, make it populate to every each and every um, dependency uh, um, dependency edge. 
So how, how can you um, deal with that? Uh, basically two things. Um, you can uh, use the CC shared library hint info provider. It's another provider that's also taken into account by the aspect. When you attach it to uh, your rule, you can control which uh, attributes actually the, the aspect considers for, for, uh, uh, um, for the, the graph uh, structure. Or um, another thing that we did is you could uh, use a wrapper and technically, basically, it, uh, technically um, hide, uh, you, technically you don't, do not, uh, no, no longer um, return CC info from your, from your rules because you just uh, have a wrapper and uh, the aspect no longer sees, sees this uh, CC info provider from your rule. Um, so you can deceive uh, the all-seeing eye, which is, by the way, uh, from the back of the $1 bill. If you have one, you can uh, check it. Um, and uh, yeah, that's how we, we solved the, the problem. Hope this was interesting to you. Um, that's my time. Um, thank you.